for a big not well not us announcing something but because something was announced on twitter and we're really excited and we rushed and i'm sorry if my hair looks like shit because i was trying to straighten it but the news came out and i rushed it but anyway um the last of us show hbo show um obviously this was announced last year and everyone was really excited but the cast um obviously our main leading people got announced today and um i can't remember the name of the girl so maybe Bella someone Ramsey. tell me yeah thank you um, I do know her from Game of Thrones, so that's why I was so excited. But then, the bigger one that all three of us are really excited for is obviously Pedro Pascal playing Joel. So Your yeah! boy! <laughs> My boy! I was so, it was so unexpected, I will say that, just because all three of us thought another actor was going to get it. Um, another Game of Thrones actor. Another Game of Thrones actor, just because they're all so talented. Who, um, I can't remember his full name, but can you guys Nic tell... Nicolai Costa Wall. Nicolai yeah. Costa Wall. I will yeah. post. Um, Mitch's amazing edit that he made. Oh, thank you. I will, um, because it's so, it's so good. It's so amazing. Can... But he made this edit. It's on the screen now, and this is when the show was announced. And yeah, it's like everyone thought it would be Nikolai because he he is such a yeah. great actor, and also he did a movie recently that also was sort of similar to Joel's character. So balancing. Cool. Yeah, and everyone was really excited about that, and then they're like. Oh my god, perfect candidate for Joel. Um, but I did not expect Pedro yeah, at all to like even like accept a role like Joel. Well, I mean, he's played so many dads, but like this is another grumpy dad he can add yeah. to the list. But oh my goodness gracious, it's just like I I, I can't believe it. I just <laughs> Mitch told me the thing earlier about um with mm. Bella's casting and then saying that um Mahershala was considered. Yeah. I said like oh, and, and I, I thought, well, okay, that's interesting. I said okay, that's set an interesting precedent I hadn't thought of before. Of um, so I, I just assumed like I thought okay, there's either two ways they're gonna go about. It. They're gonna try and go like as authentic to like the original characters and um and actors as possible. And I would personally say Caitlin Dever and Nicolai mm. Costa Waldau are like the most like like stepping or out stepping off screen of the game sort of oh like, yeah definitely like, they, they look they're the characters like in real life basically that sort of look on as opposed to like sort of doing it like a different interpretation and like just the very notion of like casting the Herschel I think like, okay so they're going in that direction of like we're going to okay let's just like with going for like an original take on the characters that sort of you know idea and then I was thinking well, who else could they have then if they can would consider him but then didn't i thought okay all right widening the parameters here from just like sort of like in middle-aged white guys of like well like, okay. <laughs> so i thought i did breathe and I, I i i sort of i basically jokingly jokingly said i said hey what about pedro and then i thought i said i said and sort of like like that'd be great but there's no way that'd happen because mm. yeah it's like this that, that would be too perfect you know yeah but then it's like it's him it's, it's for real <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, sorry, go ahead. Go, no, go, you go ahead, Mitch. Oh, I was gonna say, there was like the quote that, um, uh, one of, uh, me and Zana's, uh, mutual friends on Twitter, uh, like, quote that, that I saw him reply to a tweet. He said, was it, I, he said that I hate that nobody thought of this. Like, yeah. not, no one thought this is a possible uh, choice. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. We That's why when it was announced, it. everyone was like, Oh shit, he's yeah. actually perfect for the role. Like, yeah. most unexpected person, but he's so talented that he can do it. It's like, yeah. like, obviously he's not like walking off of the game and looking exactly like Joel, but he has that talent that he can- He still looks a hell of a lot like Joel. But oh, oh yeah, he looks like Joel, yeah. Like, yeah. Mm. But like, he can act the fuck out. Like, that's why yeah. I'm excited yeah. now because it's like, it's Joel. So it's like, oh shit. Seeing Pedro like that, it's like, oh, it's so good. It's one of the things that we don't really, as much as like there'll be like all the immense comparisons of Joel and Din as they have been already. Oh yes, of and course. Then even more so now. Um, but I was thinking, it's um, honestly like we, this is like a, there's a bit of a sort of like a, a kind of coldness and savagery to Joel that like that Din, so like doesn't have. Like as yeah. much as like Din's just sort of like, he's really kind of like. He's sort of he's naive. Is oh yeah, he's like naive and like he doesn't really know much about like the world and the way the world works and so on because he's lived quite a sheltered life, and he's really sort of like just mostly sort of like quiet and calm and still a lot of the time. 
whereas Joel, on the other hand, is somebody who's, like, he's world-weary, he's, like, you know, ragged, he's sort of, like, he's got this savagery about him that, you know, is something that Din doesn't have, and something that, like, that's honestly, I'll be really interested to see how Pedro plays that, like, playing him, playing him scary, you know? Yeah! Because, like, he, Din, Din can be scary here and there, but scary mm. in a sort of, in a calculated way, yeah. as opposed to, like, a, a brutal way. Because, like, think about some of the scenes, like, the bit when, when he tortures the two guys to get Ellie's um, location, you know, it's like, th that's going to be, like, you know. Oh, that's going to be yeah. so intense, but, yeah. like, and, yeah, again, guys, like, obviously you know my channel, I'm an avid video gamer, but Mitch and, like, Alex, they know everything with The Last of Us, and they're, like, obsessed. Like, they have it down to the details, so that's why, like, all three of us are very excited for this show, and, like, when it was announced... I was hyped because, like, I know I lost a lot of people were a bit nervous because a video game TV show adaption, but it makes sense to do it in a TV show than a movie because I feel like if it was a movie, it would be twice as rushed and we wouldn't get the same chemistry as we have like in the video game. Um, so it gives us. I'm not sure they didn't say how many episodes there are, right? Not uh, yet. I'm thinking it'll be something like twelve, maybe. Mm, yeah, like a couple of episodes. Like twelve hour long episodes or something. Mm, yeah. And as from what I understand, I think they might go like, like planning the kind of like multi-season approach. Oh like, yeah. I don't, I don't think they might do the whole thing of like the first game is like that's all, all of the first season is the first game or something. Because mm. I know that uh, Craig Mateson, the um, uh, showrunner of it, it's the showrunner of um, Chernobyl. He had sort of back when the show was announced before parts were released, he hinted at writing for Abby for the show at some point. But then, because um, so it was talking about, like, sort of, um, he loves writing um, um, different female characters, and he said he'll get to write Ellie, Tess, Marlene, and blank. And then, so, yeah, uh, like, I thought, yeah, okay, I'm guessing, I, like, everybody yeah. thinks that's, like, that's going to be Laura Bailey's character from part two. Definitely, yeah. Actor into the story in some way, but, because there's, the th there's a few theories going, it could be, like, maybe three seasons of, first season is part one, second season is, like, Part two, like the middle area or something like in between Ooh. the two of them or something. Oh and yeah, that would be really good. Part two, in some way, but yeah, yeah. It's like actual structure of the show. We don't really know much about it at mm. the moment, but it's like, I mean, because it's like I know the HBO aren't adverse to doing single season shows, like uh, Watchmen, for instance. So it's just one yeah. season. It's like that. It's like certainly they had like the um like the viewership to like definitely like do a second season they wanted, but it's like something like no, oh, this is limited run. We're just doing it. It's just this. That's all it yeah. is. It's just that. That's the story. The story's done. This is one of the first things I thought of after, like, I sort of, like, had seen the news after it sunk in. And then I said this to Mitch afterwards. So I said, I was just, like, picturing the line in Pedro's voice of, you'll just come after her. Of, like, you know, that bit. of like, I thought... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Now I'm so excited. Yeah. Oh, God. The excitement is running through the internet's veins right now because now it just it blew up like now yeah, it's I like it's... every single person on my timeline is like pedro pedro yeah, pedro last of us last of us it's so good <laughs> and again very unexpected um yeah. mitch what do you think um i was uh initially this morning i was like quite uh you know quite disappointed that caitlin and nick weren't well seemingly like, at the time didn't know that it was that nick wasn't gonna be cast but i assumed if caitlin wasn't picked it's probably not gonna be nick it's probably gonna yeah. go to someone else and so you know i was like a little bit down about that a little bit upset but i guess because i was so excited the notion of um uh caitlin mm. and nick that when hearing that we weren't gonna get um both of them or at least in your time one of them it was like that's kind of makes me i was i was unsure about it because they to me were gonna they were the, the people i thought would be best for joel and ellie and i would be bringing characters to life in the way that i see them right mm, yeah i came back downstairs and was talking to Santa for a bit and he told me the good news about gina carano oh yeah we're and, all very happy about that yeah. <laughs> and that all happened and then i was scrolling through the timeline looking at all that and I saw a picture of Pedro Pascal next to a picture of Joel. And I went, <laughs> and, I, and I saw earlier, I saw a tweet of someone saying Keanu Reeves has been approached to play JJ in, La, in Last of Us HBO series. <laughs> you know, so it's like, I, thought, I see a picture of Pedro, go, oh, okay, that's, that's like a joke one that yeah. someone's tweeted. And I look at it and see it's from Discussing Film. Mm -hmm. And I just look at it for a second. I look at the amount of likes it's got. I look at the, the at, 
and it looks right. And I open it just to make sure, and it's yeah, some hundred and something thousand followers. Okay? And I just sort of sat there for a second, and I just I just showed it to Xander, and he just started just sh- shouting at the top of his lungs <laughs> in excitement, in excitement. Yeah, because was... I saw your retweet of that. Yeah. And I looked at it, and I was like, no. And I I also clicked on it because I was like, no, no, it's a joke. And then I was I just like. Oh! I, the, I had like a hot iron in my hand and I was like <laughs> screaming my head off and like I kept scrolling just to make check make sure and just everybody started tweeting about it like in that minute and I was like oh god okay thank the lord it's true because I would have cried and just oh I'm yeah. a very happy girl there's um uh yeah sort of big thing people have been theorizing um um in the last hour or so now is um um who could be Tommy mm-hmm uh, First person I thought of was Diego Luna, but, uh, but then, yeah, more recently I was thinking, like, again, it's one of those things, that, oh, he'd be great, but, like, I don't think that would, uh, re- that would, that would happen, but then that's exactly what I thought about Pedro, um, with yeah. Oscar Isaac as Tommy. I thought, yeah, I reckon, yeah, Oscar as Tommy. Because they're best friends, so it makes yeah. sense that they might get him on the show. But even I can see Diego being, like, because Tommy is younger than yeah. Joel, so I can see Diego being a younger brother to Pedro as well as Tommy. That would be good. And he's sort of like, he's got a little bit more of the look of Tommy about him, mm. I'd say. It's sort mm. of like, it's sort of, um, like, um, no offense at all to Diego. I'm just trying to not make this sound like, um, sound the wrong way, but he's got that sort of like, kind of ragged look that, mm. you know, that, um, that Tommy has, you know. Oscar's sort of like a little bit too clean, you know? And <laughs> sort of like a little bit too classically handsome and like sort of, mm. you know, No, I, I understand whereas, what you're yeah. saying though. Whereas, yeah, Diego's got a little bit of that kind of, like, slightly rougher and sort of... Yeah. Again, don't want to make it... Almost sort of, like, rugged. Rugged. Like, scrawny look, you know, Mm. that Tommy has. You know. But, um... So it's, like... Plus, plus it's, like, um, um, his hair is close to Tommy's, so I'm, like, he's got more... (laughs) more used to things trying that. Um, but, yeah, um... And also, I I suppose it's just the kind of thing as well, thing of, like, um, that, yeah, um... Like, Oscar's in so many things going... Mm. uh, Oh, yeah. Big fan of Oscars, but I really, really, really love Diego as well. It's like yeah. loved Rogue One, loved him in um, uh, what's it called? Um, um, uh, <laughs> uh, what did you love him in, Xander? The one, Matt Damon, <laughs> the one with the one of um the cyborg movie Matt Damon. Oh, um, oh, Elysium. Um, Elysium. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Loved him in Elysium, and then he's in Andor coming up, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> but man. I thought, yeah, it's like he, like his. He's less busy than Oscar is at the moment, mm. so like I'd love to see him in another thing. They'll like let just like they'll let the, the, the everybody just hype about um, Pedro and Bella for a bit first. Yeah. Like, and wait a bit, is like as I understand, something like they're aiming to start filming like in the next few months. Or something. Probably, yeah. So especially like if they're announcing the cast, like that means that they're, they're confirmed, then that means they're like ready to to go into beginning production mm. and so on. I'm guessing as well of like the bit of a big break they've got at the moment before mando season three starts filming that's the opportunity okay go we're doing last yeah one. do it now go <laughs> i think as well um i don't know like sort of what level of a role she has in it but i know that uh, bella's in his dark materials oh oh yes so, yeah um, yes i don't think they've started filming the third season of that yet so. i don't think so probably be tess and marlene next oh who's gonna play marlene oh my god i've thought- I've always hoped uh, Zoe Saldana. Oh. But then again, but then she's much like, um, oh, shit, um, uh, yeah, much like with Nick and Caitlin, she's sort of like one of those like going for like the, like the sort of ultimate sort of mm. screen accuracy. Sort yeah. Of, um, version, but she'd still be great though. Of like, yeah, you know, definitely. Sort of like, um, but then I'm, th- I would say. Hmm, Who else? Uh, Dan Dana Guerrero. <gasps> oh, nice! She's amazing. She's real. She was really, really good, and um, I've only ever seen her in Black Panther so far. Mm-hmm. But like, just like, yeah. Oh, she's cool. amazing like, in uh, um, Walking Dead. She's yeah. amazing. So good. I guess that yeah, that's the only other little uh, problem of like yeah. The other yeah, she's done that like, too. Yeah. Like, Pedro's in the other dad going around mm-hmm. protecting kids show. Yeah. You know, I've had like a, there's a few different people I've so, I've thought of for Tess before. I know lots of people say. Few people have said Lena Headey before, and I thought she would be good, but I feel like that's too gonna, on the nose. It's gonna be like all of the Game of Thrones people. Yeah, like, I know. When, like, I feel like it's too on the nose for Tess. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then alternatively, I know a few people have suggested, um, what's her name? Um, um, hold on. Um, Kobe Smolders. Oh, yes. And Actually. Then, and then personally, I've always thought, um, uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. What has she been in? Um, she's in, uh, Birds of Prey, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, and, um, a bunch of things. Ah. Um, I know there's a few people that have been considered for David here and there. My oh, dude, David's gonna be hard shoes to fill. That's a big role, even though it's so short. It's a big role to fill. Yeah, I've always thought they would go the direction of um, David and Marlene would probably be some of the um characters they would really could like go all out on like sort of mm. star powers like yeah because like they're they're like there for two episodes at a time is what it would mm. be. I was like, Marlene, probably maybe two episodes at most of the start, and then one at the yeah, end. And then one David, at the very end. David would probably be like two episodes around the middle of the season. Mm, yeah. And so they could go all out. And I remember thinking one time, um, I thought I could honestly see um, uh, Matthew McConaughey as David. Oh, like, that's I a good he, choice. He could, play, he could play scary. Oh, yeah, and, definitely. Like, He's a uh, very good actor. Yeah, but then... One somebody I keep coming back to for David, and I, I've forgotten his name because I've been trying to think of his name. Um, <laughs> Adrian Brody. I've never heard of him. He's in um he's in a bunch of movies. He's in mainly um what's it called um um a lot of um uh, Wes Anderson's films. He's like sort of one of his main repertoire. Ah. I, uh, oh sure. him! Yes. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, he's in King Kong. Yes. He was in um uh what's it called? Um um uh Grand Budapest Hotel as well. Yes, oh my like, gosh. He's 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 like terrifying in that. Like Ooh, yeah, add a beard and he would look like David. It's just the voice. That voice is what like sells David. I say he's got this sort of outwardly kind of not very intimidating sort of appearance and like mm. sort of look about him like he can be scary he can when he, um, but like sort of like he doesn't seem like someone who would look really terrifying and intimidating when you see him you know oh yeah and, like that's something i'd say is like that's sort of like kind of key to david is like someone who can seem just like normal and like you know just like you know it's just like this random this random guy like out in the wilderness and like you know, oh yeah, yeah. He, seems, he seems like a nice guy but mm, yeah definitely well, because that's what sells it. And even with, like, obviously Nolan North did it in the video game, and he was amazing. Didn't even know it was him until I finished the game. Um, so that's why, again, just... It has to be on point with David. Like, I know we've already got our two leading people, but David is also a key part of the story. Um, to those who have played the video game, to those who haven't, um, they will understand soon, but to the people who have played the video game, they understand how big a part he plays um so it's yeah i'm i'm so excited now because now i'm imagining all my favorite scenes like coming to life yeah. it's gonna be so oh god i can't oh dude the winter part is gonna be so hard to watch but i i, I can't wait to watch that it's gonna be so good because i mean like that's part of the um in looking at it from the the, the meta perspective of like mm. the sort of performances and so on that's part of the thing that's so remarkable about David in the original game and like sort of everybody loves so much is like of being having a being he's like he is one of those characters that where like Nolan disappeared into him and like oh this definitely is, like, it's like one of because Nolan's one of those actors like a lot of the time it's like he'll be playing a character it's like oh yeah yeah I can tell that's him because mm. it's like his sort of character it's his voice yeah having it be someone that's like he's just like completely you know just completely different unrecognizable yeah and like i feel like that's part of that's part of the thing about david and that's something that i think is like and I, I suppose maybe that's one of the things that you know would sort of point against someone like gary playing him is like mm. that instead is like it's more of a typical casting for mm. the sort of character he would that's play. very true and yeah and so instead you'd want somebody who's playing like completely out of left field in being david yeah and so and someone who's willing to take risks and like experiment yeah. a bit I think that'll be good, especially if it's someone, like, again, unexpected. I'll be excited yeah. to see who they choose and who they offer the role to, if they are going to offer it or if, pe or if people are auditioning for it. Because, yeah, I mean, 
to people who haven't played the video game, Nolan North is like one of a big voice actor in the industry or actor, I should say, because he there's more acting than voice nowadays. Um, and even I'll just show an example right now. I'll play. This is usually what he plays like. I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, cowboy. And this is what he sounds like and plays like in The Last of Us. Name's David. This here's my friend James. Uh, from a larger group. Women, children. We're all very, very hungry. Only a few came back. He said that the others had been uh, slaughtered by a crazy man. <laughs> and get this, he's a crazy man traveling little girl and yeah that's the difference and that's why a lot of people who played last of us did not know that was nolan north until a lot later me included a couple of years later after i played the game so it's just it shows that people can be chameleons so in this case an actor will have to take risks and just become a chameleon and take take that chance and i, I reckon they can find someone who can do it That's part of the thing with, like, there's, like, tons of people that would be, like, really, really great as David that I could see, but I'm mm. expecting, I'm expecting it to be a casting of, like, where the cast think, oh, really? Mm. And then, and then to, like, be then completely sold on it, like, once the scene. Yeah. Moments. And, because, like, I was, I was just thinking again of, like, so, like, think of another, it's, because like, it's, yeah, I think, like, I, I'm, I, I, yeah, I'm probably actively deciding now I'm not going to try and, like sort of have any particular picks for David yeah. because I want to see them come out of left field with him and any of the time I try and think of somebody who'd be able to play him it's like no nah, but that's just a very typical sort of like role for them. Mm. So yeah. think of Robert Pattinson even. Oh yeah Ooh, that'll really be interesting be able actually play. yeah. Yeah but I thought again that's all like kind of typical. It is yeah he has yeah. played a couple of dark roles recently. Yeah. Cough <laughs> Batman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And Devil All the Time is Yeah, Devil All the that. Time. Jesus, so good. Yeah. So good. Well, to finish off the video then, um, what scenes are you excited to see in, obviously, live action on TV with our two leads? I reckon um, I want to see... I think that, um, as I mentioned before, I think because this has been like kind of the biggest departure from the sort of roles and performances we usually seen Pedro in, I want to see the... Um, the bit when he tortures the two guys for Ellie's location, mm. and like I think, yeah, seeing a scene like that, just seeing like un unbridled fury and savagery from Pedro, it's something that like sort of we've never really, really seen him like sort of perform yeah. in like that style of like just like he is just you know like just seriously don't fuck with this dude. Yeah. <laughs> at this moment, like that's sort of like that's what I want to see. And, like I'm thinking like of all of, there's a whole lot of the show that'll be like. Like, I mean, um, um, I mean, like, it's, it's Pedro Pascal. He, like, sort of very much does have a type of uh, role. With, <laughs> and it's like, there's a lot of the show. Likes be, like, play like, fathers. Yeah. There's a lot of it that'll be, like, the same, same sort of, like, style of things we've sort of seen before. Mm. In some of his roles. But that's the thing I think is going to be, like, that'll be, like, a really big sort of standout performance mm. moment for him. And, like, the fact as well, Joel's mostly, like, he talks a little bit, but, like, he's mostly silent through a lot of that scene and yeah. Pedro is really really good at portraying that of like just like acting with like because like no, not even just you know with like facial expression but just with like body, with body. just by yeah. just by standing and looking in a particular way it can convey so much emotion and that's something I reckon we'll see a lot we'll see a lot of in the show definitely um Mitch what about you uh I'm thinking I really want to see the ranch scene just because it's like that'll be that's one of the most intense scenes between Joel and Ellie. So I'm excited to see Bella and Pedro performing that scene. To see like both of them, you know, really going pretty hard with a performance there. Because uh, yeah, I just think that that will be the scene that um, I wouldn't be surprised if that's like a scene that that is potentially like shown as like a sort of a t little teaser for the mm. for the for the series as they show that scene between them, or maybe a new scene similar to that from earlier in the story. Who knows? But that. 
particular scene in the ranch seems my favorites from the first game and i think that that's one that i really think would that's one i'm really excited to see because i think it's just they both get like equal equal amounts to work with in that scene mm. yeah huh for me um oh god it's, oh, i hate to say it but i have to say the opening as harsh as it yeah, is i was gonna say that too. like yeah like as as dark as it starts i really cannot wait to see how that plays out and who they get to play pedro's daughter oh well joel's daughter um and then the way that's going to be acted out with you know like tommy joel and it was i can't remember the daughter's name it's Sarah. been so long Sarah. since i played the yeah. first last of us i can't even remember character names i need to go back and play it um but sarah yeah um that it's yeah as dark as it is i cannot wait for that scene and i cannot wait for um the scene with marlene and joel at the very very end yeah. of the game hmm. that scene is very intense and one of my favorite moments um so i cannot wait to see those two scenes both intense scenes first one a lot darker but oh well both of them are very dark but i cannot wait to see those and I, also we did i didn't get to say it i cannot wait to see the vfx and the designs for obviously the infected, all the, yeah. the infected yeah so like the clickers the runners that's gonna be interesting from a um um like sort of film production and like vfx design perspective i reckon they're gonna be like 80 percent practical I yeah i hope like, so like a lot of it a lot of it you can do you could do practically like pretty mm. easy especially like ones like the the bloaters and like all of the more like the, oh my the god the bloater like, <gasps> they're all a lot of those you could just do with like you know just having foam rubber so like build mm. up stuff i reckon they'll they'll go the route of um like nine out of ten infected you see at any given shot or sequence in the show will be will be like fully practical and fully real but then like every now and then there'll be one or two like sort of like in the sort of like extreme close-ups where like they'll have had like mm. just a little bit of digital enhancement to get them looking very very different so thank you everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this like quick video like we just like quickly got together and we wanted to rant and talk about it because we were so excited um please leave your thoughts down in the comments we would love to hear what you guys think about the cast and also who else would be on the cast and what favorite scene that you if you have played the video game what scenes are you guys looking for and even to those who haven't played the video game what you're looking forward to in this show um so again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys